Listen, the New Orleans Pelicans was eliminated from the postseason. We all know Brandon Ingram is just taking over the headlines right now with his future pretty much uncertain after the quotes that he made. I want to give some of the quotes that he said at the podium. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to Flight Sports for more New Orleans Pelicans, NBA content, and more. He says, I love the city of New Orleans. This is a place where I got my first all-star and they let me be myself. I've got good relationships around here, but you never know. I'll take a few weeks off and think about what's best for me and my family and take it from there. So um, this is definitely uh, sent, uh, things that's a shockwaves. He later says, leaving the podium, no matter what, I've got a lot of love for the city of New Orleans and the fans. They've done nothing but treat me right. So the Pelicans are uh, being tasked with a situation right now uh, either to train him or extend him. Um, it's some decisions that have to be made. Uh, Brandon Ingram, um, clearly the running mate for Zion. His running mate was not there. Zion was injured. He only put up eight points in this elimination game, and the magnifying glass is shining. Chief, um, what's your thoughts on this Ingram, New Orleans Pelican situation? Uh, what's your thoughts? Uh, man, <laughs> I'm going to do it. When you hear language like that, I'm going to do what's best for me, my family, blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay. Last year around this time, like, there was rumors, especially when Mariah Mills hit. Oh, my goodness. When that came out, there was talk that either one or both of Brandon and Zion may be on the move last year, right? New Orleans is a small market, like, and it is what it is. Hey, Sky, Purple. Don't don't cuss me out, but their priority, New Orleans, y'all know it's the Saints because Miss Benson and the Benson family owns both franchises. So the priority and the focus has always been the New Orleans Saints. New Orleans, talk to me now. Jump in the chunk, jump in the comments. I'll be in there. So how far can this team go with Zion and Brandon? Is it time to break it up? Small market teams don't have the luxury that larger markets do. Like, so if they're looking to tie money in to players, they got they got Zion's contract with so many different types of clauses in it that they can cut Zion. Hey, y'all go look at look up Zion's contract and see how New Orleans can really, you know, they can move Zion. If, if he's overweight or whatever, they all that stuff is in his contract. So with Brandon Ingram, I don't know. He he may need to meet flight. He was supposed to be the next KD. If he can't get it done, he may need to go to a place where maybe his role will be a little different. And he's not he he's not the leader of a team or a franchise. He can be a compliment to a franchise, but Brandon, Brandon. Uh, Brandon is not the number one guy. He isn't. So he she he may have to go somewhere where he can fit in with somebody who already has established themselves as like the guy or the center of that team. And Brandon can come there to be a Pippin or one B. That's how I see that flight. Right. Uh, now, back to the New Orleans Pelicans, man. Uh, these guys, they finished 49 and 33. Uh, are they jumping the gun here? You know, we're possibly maybe moving him uh, because remember in the early parts of the season, they was hovering as one of the better teams. Uh, but it seems like health can't never get right with them. And they got beat down by OKC. I could see if it was Denver or somebody. I mean, come on. You know, they should be, you know, it shouldn't have been no sweep. You know, they got they got hurt. Right. Zion being there would have made a big difference in that series, I believe. I really, I really believe it. But is it, but they are small market teams. Like if they if this is this is the tricky part with small market teams. If you wait too long, you can stay because they had a winning record. In the East, I would say, no, they can run it back. It's like this is the West. And Adrian and not Adrian Griffin, um Griffin. Their GM just said that the West is about to get better. 
And Griff has already come out publicly today, Flight, and said that the Pelicans about to be make radical changes. So that ship has sailed. You know, Griff is publicly saying they're making changes to the Pelicans. Now, does that involve trying to keep that core, at least of Brandon, Ingram, and Zion together? Or are they going to look for someone new to run with Zion? We'll see. You know, we'll see. We'll see flight, you know, but but age but uh but Griffin, he's already he's uh Griffin is already talking, talking like um they tried this last year. So just kind of what he said, well, we ran it back last year just to see. Uh we can't you know, Griffin is talking about we can't run it back again. So they're gonna make some changes. We'll see. We'll see if Brandon if they keep Brandon or not. But the only question is, flight, even though with things going on the way they did, you have to account for Zion's health. If they move Brandon, C.J. McCollum is not going to be enough. They have to get someone back good to hold it down for when Zion is out. It's just the nature of the team. It's the nature of having a team around Zion. It is what it is. If they don't do it, then they may be looking at <laughs> Zion can play as well as he can. But if it's just him off and on, then they may fall. Zion, uh, John Morant will be back next year. Wimby will be improved next year. This is what Griffin is looking at. Job will be back next year. You know, Wimby will be back with, with a top pick by his side next year, whoever they pick, wherever they land. The West, you know, the West is not. The West is is now in, in with what's going on in, in the playoffs, man. Who will be the king of the West is what the question is being asked now, bro. It is what it is. Right. Uh, we thought Zion Williamson was going to be, you know, um, in the running. It really hurts me that it's happened to Zion because he had a relatively healthy year, you know, compared to what he was going through. Um, you know, I know that it ended bad, but I mean, he was around more. I, he was around more than he was previously. You know, and I thought that at the, I thought he was finally going to be there. He, he the man went down right before the play. Mm. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I, oh Lord have mercy. I mean, I hated that. that that's that. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It looked like everything, and I, they may have very well lost to OKC, but they would have never got swept with Zion. Oh, no. mm -hmm. There would have been no sweep. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. how you think the series would have went with Zion? They would have won seven games, and man, depending on how Zion played, they may have beaten Oklahoma City. Now, hey, 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 hey! Jump in the comments. Jump in the comments because. A focused and healthy Zion is that that changes the whole West flight. Zion, a Zion focused and healthy, the way the Pelicans cannot be touched if Zion is really like focused and healthy. There's no one in the West that can deal with him. But if not, then it's up for grabs. Well, I totally agree with you, man. Chief, let everybody know where they can find me. Tribe Sports, baby. You already know. Make sure you hit the like button. The most definitely hit the subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV.